of the Rose Bowl. Great rivalry. Nice way to find out where your team stands and how good they are. It really is. It doesn't get any better than this. You know, ABC TV, Keith Jackson, Dan Fouts, all you guys. So we got a lot of young guys from Southern California really excited about playing in this game. All right, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Keith. Thank you, Todd. Oh, Jeff, he's moved from that coordinator position right into full speed ahead at Berkeley. UCLA won the toss. They have elected to kick off Carl Durrell wanting the ball to start the second half of play. Number seven is Justin Medlock. He's a left-footed sidewinder. James Bethia returns it for California. Balls in the air at the Rose Bowl, and it's beyond the field of play to come out to the 20-yard line. Now, the lineups for the California Golden Bears. Aaron Rodgers started three games last year, having come from Butte Junior College with three years of eligibility and uh, starting the season, sharing the position with Reggie Robertson, but had a strong game in the upset of USC, and that got him the starting job, and he's been there for the last three games. Bears are wearing the white shirts today as they come out against the Bruins wearing their blue. Quite a comfortable day, actually. A bit warm, but uh, it's California after all, so it won't bother anybody. And here comes Echimundi. Find the right side and runs into a big stack of Bruins, and he gets nothing out of the play. Outback Steakhouse starting lineup for the Cal Bears. The backs and receivers, Adam Chinobi Echimundi, and we'll call him Joe before the day's over, is the hammer tough running back, probably headed for a 1,000-yard season. Wide receiver Jeff McArthur, 695 yards receiving. That's third in the nation. The offensive line is a veteran unit, except for the right guard, O'Callaghan. He's just a sophomore, but he weighs in about 330, so he's more than welcome. Second down and 10. Stands up very quickly, pops it over to MacArthur. MacArthur gets out in front. The Bruins are chasing him, and they catch him at about the UCLA 41-yard line. Jared Page tracked him down with help from Spencer Havner. So big play, Cal, as they come out with a pop, and all of a sudden uh, MacArthur hits the seam, and he's almost gone. Yeah, he, MacArthur does a great job with the. Uh, Receiving this ball quickly gets out to him, and now he steps inside of number six, Matt Clark. So it's number six, Jeff MacArthur, with the first big play of this ball game on a very short pass, something that Cal has to be very effective with today. You're not going to get a long, a lot of long balls against this umbrella style of defense they play. On the 41, 39-yard pickup on that play. California in the opening possession, same play. Same side of the field, not quite as dramatic, but he gets it down to the 30, and that's a first down, a pickup of 11 yards. The UCLA defensive front's a powerful group, led by Rodney Leslie, who has two touchdowns this year. They must not, however, give first contact to the offensive line. Linebackers, these people make a lot of tackles because the defensive line gives them the opportunity. Brandon Chiller has 69. The defensive backs, Bruins have to go today without their premier corner, Matt Ware, out with a sprained ankle, but as we've seen, Jared Page is back and just made a tackle. And the uh, Cal Bears are going to be flagged for 12 men in the huddle. Tight end Garrett Cross came out late to the lineup and uh, trying to replace Brandon Hall, but there were 12 men at the time, and that's what drew the flag from our official Jay Stikerts. Jay Stikerts is the referee today. He's a veteran. The referee is, uh, I mean, the umpire is Art Hines, headlinesman Mike McCabe. Chuck Zubin is the line judge. His side judge is Colin McDermott. Field judge is David Adams, and the back judge is Steve Hudson. You could tell Tedford was pretty ticked off about that penalty. The Cal's been very good with penalties, second fewest in the Pac-10 this season. Bears go double wide, top of the picture. Echimondu stays in there, and now Aaron Rodgers looks at what he's got, doesn't like it or doesn't understand it, and calls a timeout. So the Bears try to get settled down and sort things out. They expect the temperature today to get up to around 90, maybe the high 80s, might be a little less than 90. I went out yesterday after being over here a while, drank the car and looked at the outside uh, temperature. It was 102 Oop. in the parking lot. Get away from that car. It is first down and 15 now. The ball is just back outside the 35-yard line of UCLA. The California Bears have it. Aaron Rodgers settles under quarterback. 
and hands it off to Etchemundi, and he's pursued by the Bruins into a loss of about two, two and a half yards. Dan Emanuel leading on the play. Let's talk about uh, Aaron Rodgers and this young fellow, as we call it, Tedford's top shelf. Well, Jeff Tedford's one of the best quarterback coaches in the country. Watch how high he holds the ball. It allows for a clean delivery, not a lot of wasted motion. And now under pressure, watch Rodgers roll out, brings the ball to that top shelf and delivers a very catchable ball. Ball is carried high in position to make the throw and to be delivered on time. And on second down and 17 now, the Bears have three wide outs. Bruins show blitz, they're coming hard. Ball given to Etchemondu and he cannot get away from the blitz. Havner was one of them, and the other was Justin London. So two linebackers blitzing on the play, and they fenced him in pretty well. And yeah, they're showing a pretty good uh, example of why the Bruins have the uh, number four defense in the Pac-10. This is a gambling style of defense that really relies on the front four of ball, both ball brothers, Dave and Matt, Rodney Leslie and Ryan Biscetti, to let those linebackers run free as they did on that play. Very um, Barrett cheat on him pretty good after missing what he said 37 tackles against Arizona last week too. The team did not tackle well. Aaron Rodgers throws it off short to Etchemandu and he's, he's a tough guy but he got too many Bruins to deal with and he'll go down just inside the 35 yard line. Keith Short getting the first hit on him and here comes the California kicking team. And that's a big play by Keith Short. He's filling in for Matt Ware today, the great corner for UCLA. Watch from the right side of the screen how low Keith Short gets in there and takes the legs away from Adam Chinobi Echimandu. Tyler Fredrickson, a big fella, 220-pounder out of Santa Barbara, the place kicker is in for a 51-yard field goal try. Well, his uh, career long was 51 against uh, USC. And he did that in that uh, triple overtime ball game. Fredrickson got a hold of it. He's got enough leg on it. And Mr. Right. Just slid to the right side. Good try, though. The Bruins, however, come out of this scuffle with pretty good field position. Drew Olson at quarterback. Olson uh, has been the starter for the last three games and has completed uh, 49 of 74 passes. You see the ball start to drift. Just light outside. That's close. Yeah, Cal had a couple of big plays uh, to Jeff MacArthur, but couldn't capitalize. Got a penalty, then had to call a timeout. Lost all that good momentum, and then missed just wide right. All right, Olsen now in relief. Matt Moore, incidentally, Olsen replaced him, and Moore got hurt. Matt is back and healthy and itching to play, and will play some today. They turn and hand the ball off to Tyler Ebell, the smaller of the two running backs at 180 pounds, and he doesn't get much, maybe a yard. The Outback Steakhouse starting lineup, backs and receivers, Manny White's at fullback and running back both today. And uh, Craig Bragg, of course, is the go-to guy among the receivers. Offensive line, center is a little tender with the redshirt freshman Robert Trice succeeding Mike McCluskey. SAF, incidentally, the guard in the middle of this offensive front, has started 29 of his 30 career games in the Bruins. It's second down, call it eight. UCLA in its first possession. Ball is thrown behind the intended receiver. Mercedes Lewis uh, out in the neighborhood. Uh, really, the ball wasn't very close to anybody, but it was in between receivers. So yeah, he, and it's, it's hard to overthrow Mercedes <laughs> Lewis, six foot six. But he was covered by middle linebacker Joe Meningo, and that's a, a favorable matchup for UCLA if they can get the big tight end against the middle linebacker. There's Meningo. Are you sure? I can't read a name on the back of his jersey there, Keith. you sure somewhere, that's Meningo? Somewhere under that blanket, there <laughs> is Meningo. <laughs> on third down and eight, Drew Olson. Plenty of time, gets his ball away to the sidelines, and it's caught by Craig Bragg, the go-to guy, at its first down up at the 49-yard line. Good catch, Bragg. Ball thrown to the outside where nobody could bother him by Olson. That's 38 catches now for Bragg up top here. This is James Bethea who is filling in today, starting for Harrison Smith at corner for Cal. Cal corners have given up a lot of big plays this season. That was a well-timed pass by Matt Moore, or rather Drew Olson, to his number one receiver, Craig Bragg. Ball right on the midfield spot. Pitch it back to Ebell, looking for a crack. There isn't one. He's going to lose two yards. California's defensive front, defensive tackle Lorenzo Alexander, the bull here. 
And there's a lot of J.C. help on the defensive side of the ball. Linebackers, Wendell Hunter is the big hitter. Really good. And wait till you see, well, you just saw Joe Meningo's hairdo. <laughs> the defensive backs, Donnie McCluskey is the rover or free safety, second only to Wendell Hunter in tackles per game. He has 10 tackles for losses this season. So he's very active. Hey, Joe. Smith checks into the ball game for the Bruins. Drew Olson play action rolls out. Better get something going here because there are people all over him as he gets well outside the tackle box and thus can throw the ball away. Trojans over Notre Dame 21 14. Georgian Vanderbilt 3 uh, 2 ball game and uh, the second relief pitchers coming in. <laughs> that was a great job in the secondary by Cal. Donnie McCleskey uh, took away. Olsen's first receiver on that play, and then the pressure forced him way out of the pocket, and he was just had to throw that ball away. Nine and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Cal had the ball moving down the field and ran into uh, some, uh, some lapses and a penalty and stalled and missed a 51 yard field goal. And now the Bruins are trying to get something going in their first possession. Olsen throws a bullet. It's caught down the middle of the field by Junior Taylor. Taylor had some room. He can really turn on the Jets when he gets going, but he had to go so high to get it. Fell down, coming down with it. Good combination route by the Bruins. Number 25 is Ryan Smith right here. He's going to clear out, and Taylor will come in behind him here. The key on this play is to have about 12 seconds to throw. This is really down the field a long way. But as Smith clears out that zone, you can see Taylor go high for the first down catch. Ball marked at the 31-yard line of California, and Olsen back, puts it in the air, got a man wide open down the middle of the field, touchdown, Mercedes Lewis. He got behind Brian Friendly, and he's a big target, as Dan said, 6'6", 251, and he rumbled into the end zone. And a play-action fake by Drew Olsen really set that play up. That pulled Meningo up to the line of scrimmage, and then Lewis was wide open down the middle and had to wait a long time for that ball to come down. The uh, place kick by Justin Medlock is good. And so UCLA takes the lead 7-0 over California at 9.03 to go in the first quarter. So that was a pretty quick turnaround of fortune there. Mercedes Lewis has been quiet among the receiving corps of late and figured sooner or later they were going to play somebody where he'd be available to them 
And you just saw. Yeah, what Cal does so often is they like to run the, the zone blitz schemes. And their blitzing team like to put eight men up in the box, crowd that line of scrimmage to stop the run. So when you fake the run at them, they have a tendency to come very hard. And that allowed Lewis to sneak behind the linebackers, beat Tremblay for the score. Medlock will tee it up and kick it off now. He's a freshman out of Fremont. And James Bethia, who is a senior out of Reseda, waiting for the Bears. This is returnable. From the six, he fumbles. Now he's got a problem. Bruins eat him up at about the 13. Ball's rolling around, but they're calling him down. So the Bears, who had a good drive going and had it blow up in them and their hand, and now they're going to go to work from the 13-yard line, and Etchemandu shifts into the backfield and gets the football, goes over the left side, picks up about three yards to the 16. That's a couple of yards at the most on that carry over the right side by Etchemandu. He's... He, He's a hammer, but uh, so far the Bruins have got a handle on him. He's already graduate in graduate studies at Berkeley. Graduated this past spring with his B.A. Ball is thrown to MacArthur. And uh, Rogers and uh, MacArthur hooking up for the third time in the ball game. But Matthew Clark this time made the defensive play on him. And that is the third straight hitch route for uh, Rogers to MacArthur. Ball is right by the ear, comes out clean. And see how quick it was? It was quicker than Havener could get his hands up to try to knock it down. That's one thing Cal has to do today is be patient with their pass offense. Let the receivers catch the short route and try to run for extra yardage. Got him the first down, though, out to the 23, just beyond it. Rodgers again quickly goes the other way with it and uh, contact uh, by... The defender on Burl Toller, Keith Short, was right there when uh, Toller got the ball. And so far, Aaron Rodgers has been perfect because he's got such a great quarterback guru for a head coach. You can see the number one draft choices that have worked under Jeff Tedford. Kyle Bowler, David Carr, the great Joey Harrington, Akili Smith, and Trent Dilfer. It's because of the fundamentals that we're seeing on display today by Aaron Rodgers. Those pass look like there are not much to them, but it's five yards. And so it's second down and five, and here's another one. It's uh, Burl Toller again, and Toller's going to have a first down, and there's a penalty flag, and it's going to be a face mask, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, Keith. Burl Toller's granddaddy, a gentleman I've known a long time, played at San Francisco and one of the great college football teams of all time. Then Burl Jr. walked on at California and uh, played three years as a starter. And now here's a Burl the third, I guess you could call him. Penalties against the Bruins. It was a face mask. Marcus O'Keefe checks into the backfield now for California. The ball after the penalty is put on the UCLA 48. First down, Cal Bears. They empty the backfield. Four wide outs. Rogers steps up, got a little green in front of him, and he's going to pick up about uh, six yards. Second down and five. And they're running the ball, and they believe they can run the ball. And they like to run it, and they've got a first down. That's a pickup uh, down to the 36-yard line, carried by Etchemandu. He came out, got a deep breath and a drink of water, and here he's back. Well, his best run of the day was uh, off tackle behind uh, Chris Murphy and the tight ends on that side. Etchemandu was known last year uh, when he last played. He was off for two years uh, as Joe Etchema, born in Lagos, Nigeria. Now it's, he's changed his name. And he's a graduate student. And Rodgers has got a problem. He's going to lose a couple of yards as Rodney Leslie made, led the penetration. And Rodney's a load. He's 6'3", 289 pounds. Senior out of Bakersfield. That's 16 sacks on the season now for the Bruins. That's why they're the uh, second best pass defense in the conference. They can rush the passer with their front four. You can see as the both tackles, Biscetti and Leslie, 
and Matt Ball and David, all four of them are in there. He intercepted the shovel pass and scored the winning touchdown at Arizona last week for uh, UCLA. He, 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 was, he could hardly make it through the door yesterday when we talked to him. Ball thrown quickly to the outside. They like that play. They like to get their people out there one-on-one -on -one against the UCLA corners. Lund London helping out on the play from his linebacking position against Echimondu. Talk about helping out. How about Jeff MacArthur throwing a block? Right here. Watch MacArthur come up here and block as the ball is in the air to Echimondu. And this block really springs Echimondu down the field. That's perfect timing. Ball thrown behind the line of scrimmage. A legal play by Cal. It'll be third down and six now for the Bears. They've been down here before and didn't get anything out of it. They empty the backfield and put three wide outs on this side. Throw the ball quickly to Echimondo, and he is not going to get his first down. They stopped him right at the 30-yard line, and that was a very good defensive play by UCLA. Yeah, he tried the exact same play to the wide side of the field. Just flipped it over and threw the ball out here. The block was not executed as well as the previous play and the Bruins stopped him short. Now here comes Tyler Fredrickson. UCLA leading 7 to nothing. The Bears trying to get on the board and they're going to spot it at the it'll be a 47 yard field goal try to go down to 37 yard line. He missed a while ago from 51 in their first possession. That's a low snap but they get it down and it's good. Kind of squeezed it in. Robertson, the quarterback, took that low snap and was able to handle it. At 2.51 of the first quarter then, California's on the board. And our score is UCLA 7 and California 3. So, 7-3 ball game, Bruins lead. We've got 251 to go in the first quarter. That kickoff goes two yards deep into the end zone, and Maurice Drew is coming out with it. And Maurice Drew, out of Antioch, California, brings it up across the 20. There is a penalty flag in the aftermath of the run back at the 13-yard line. Jay Strickets, the referee. No block in the back off. You can read lips. Push in the back against the Bruins. So while they tend to that housekeeping, today's singular wireless poll question is who has the early edge for the Heisman Trophy? As if it truly genuinely mattered. Jason White of Oklahoma, Larry Fitzgerald of Pittsburgh, B.J. Simons, Texas Tech, Philip Rivers, North Carolina State, and Stephen Jackson of Oregon State. To vote, log on to ESPN.com. Search singular or singular users can text vote to 222 and we'll give you the results of the poll in the second half. It's a national poll. Jason White has to uh, get over being on the cover of Sports Illustrated this week. 20 touchdown passes and only three interceptions for Jason White. I kind of like our guy up in Corvallis. Here, Steven Jackson, yes, I think, sir. is the best running back I've seen in the last three or four years. I think he's pretty good. Yeah, second leading rusher in the country. All right, a first down. The ball is on the seven-yard line. The Bruins try the ground game. And uh, they move the stack just a little bit up to the 11-yard line. Second down and six now for the Bruins. And there's a big collision right at the line of scrimmage as Donnie McCluskey met Tyler Ebel. Joe Joe. And normally, uh, if your strong safety is your leading tackler, you have problems on your defense, but uh, that's the design of this Bob Gregory defense. Number 21 is Donnie McCleskey, leads the team in tackles and plays more than just one position. He, can, he has the skills to play corner, plays a little bit like a linebacker, and of course as a safety. A loss of the yard on the play. It'll be third down and seven from the 10. Olsen back, pressure on, he's set. Bears just kept on fighting, and Sverchek finally got a hold of him and took him down, a big junior out of San Luis Obispo. Uh, he's fired up. That's his first sack this season. He's been splitting time with Josh Beckham as they alternate uh, along with Lorenzo Alexander as the defensive tackles, but Olsen had nothing, no chance on that one. That pocket collapsed in a hurry. 
I would think California would be a, a difficult team to be successful out of a three-step drop very long because they do get to you quickly. Out of the end zone, the punt by Chris Cure. That's beauty. Back at the 48-yard line, it is taken by Vinny Strang, and all 140-odd pounds of him takes it back down to the UCLA 45-yard line, and he's the first man up after the hit. 47-yard punt, 7-yard return. The aerial pictures, courtesy of Goodyear's newest blimp, Spirit of America, based in nearby Carson, that's down the road for the airport. Goodyear built its first blimp in 1925. They currently have three of them. Roaming around the skies of the world. And that front by Cluey almost hit the blimp. That was yeah. way Did up he? there. Yeah, he's a good kicker, but he has time. I guess a kicker and a punter are maybe considered a little different. Yes, they are. <laughs> On first down, Rogers. Gives it away to Etchemundu, and uh, the UCLA defenders now, they just go like a cubby of doves after him and get him. Brandon Chillar leading the tacklers. Uh, Chillar did a great job of fighting off the block of tight end Brandon Hall, number 11 and number 11. Here is Chiller right here, and watch how he just fights to the outside here and beats that block right there, and is too quick for Aaron Mertz coming over there. That's a beautiful play by linebackers, stringing him out to the sidelines. That's four times now today this defense has tackled Echimandu in the backfield. It was one of the things that Jeff Tempton was worried about. He thinks the UCLA defense is pretty good. Very quick and they react very well. Aaron Rodgers looks up and sees uh, the time running out, pulls out from under center, and goes to the sideline. So after one, at the Rose Bowl at 7-3, UCLA. しなやかであること一流の選手が鍛えられた体にしなやかさを兼ね備えているように車も強さと柔軟性のバランスが重要ですボディの剛性を高めることで走りを安定させしなやかさを高めることで衝撃を逃がしますSTI独自のフレキシ
Defense doing a pretty good job today, both teams. UCLA just cannot get anything done at all. The 66 yards all on the first drive of the day for UCLA. And tackles for loss, both defenses doing a good job. They have three sacks each. But California with an 11-minute advantage in time of possession and yet four points down on the scoreboard. Evel lines up as the deep back. Manny White's the fullback. Give it to Evel. He comes off the left guard, finds some daylight, and he gets out to about the 27-yard line. So it's a good seven-yard burst by Tyler. UCLA had a good start to this ball game, and their first drive of the day, Drew Olson found Craig Bragg for that 14-yarder, then hooks up with Junior Taylor over the middle for 21 yards, and then the scoring pass from 31 yards out on a beautiful play-action fake to Mercedes Lewis 7-0 UCLA but since then Drew Olsen has not completed a pass on second down and three they stay with the ground game Ebel bounces off the stack and goes and gets the first down but it may come back because the referee threw a flag holding on the Bruins they lost an 82 yard touchdown run by Ebel to a holding call and they're going to lose that first down to the holding call and it's unusual that both those holding calls were called by our referee Jay Strikert normally holding is called by the umpire who's looking at it from the other side of the line of scrimmage but Strikert has called the Bruins twice now holding on the offense 10 yard penalty previous spot still second down Ebel is out of there and uh, Maurice Drew is in to replace him at tailback and uh, Looked like Ebel took himself out of the ball game. There's been some conversation along the sideline. Uh, Eric Bienemy is the running back coach. And he's doing their case pretty well right now. Ball is sitting back at the 17. They're at second down and 13. Again, they run it. And Drew finds some daylight, gets up across the 25. To the 26 before Ryan Gutierrez brings him down for California. Yeah, he's so strong and built so low to the ground, you can't even see him in this picture here. But he pops into the secondary, lowers that shoulder well right into Gutierrez, and drags him forward. Big gain there for Maurice Drew. Third down and four. Long four. And Manny White is the deep back. The big guy. He's blocking, Olsen throwing, has a man, completes the pass at the 30, gets across the 30 and to the 31, and that's enough for a first down. Mercedes Lewis reeled it in. That's the type of play you need for, from your tight end. As he's working against McCleskey here, he outweighs McCleskey by 70 pounds. Short of the first down there, but not there. Ebel's back in now at the deep back position. It looks like the Bruins would had their brothers, they pound on them on a hot day in Pasadena. Olsen rolls out, throws, and he's got a man. It is Taylor, and he's at the 40, inside the 40 for a first down. Junior Taylor's a lanky sophomore out of Mesa, Arizona, 6'2", 197. He sort of lopes along, but you suddenly realize that you're running as hard as you can, and you can't catch that lope of his. And Olsen, knowing he needs to get out of that pocket because of the pressure, sacked three times in that first half. But here's that lope you're talking about. Look at the long stride by number eight. Ball thrown perfectly by Drew Olsen. First down at the 40-yard line for the Bruins. They lead 7-3, to three, but California really has controlled the ball most of the game. They'll run it. And there's a whole lot of mayhem going on as Maurice Drew disappears into the stack and gets nothing out of it. You know, you hate to call anybody a bowling ball, but he he's, does bounce around a bit. He was heading forward, and then some Cal defender came up and knocked him backwards, and as he was going towards the ground, it looked like he was heading back in the right direction. No, Carl Durrell says they like it. Lucky sort. Olsen steps away from pressure, throws, and it's incomplete at the 21-yard line. 
Ryan Smith, who's normally a very good possession receiver. The ball was a little behind him, and James Bethea was able to break it up. Olsen did a nice job of getting away from Lorenzo Alexander there. And really put the ball in an area where it should have been caught. Alexander, actually it's Svercek, number 72 there, that forces Olsen up inside. This ball's got to be caught, especially by a senior wide receiver. Good position on the DB, flat out drop. Third and ten. Olsen's pass to the deep corner. Touchdown. Fred Bragg. Greg Bragg just schooled the true freshman Damian Hughes there. Another big play by the dynamic wide receiver. Just a go route on third and ten. He turns Hughes around. Hughes has no idea where the ball is till it's too late, and it's right on target. Medlock for the point. Hunter Kuwe holds it, and Riley Jumbo will snap it. Good. So the Bruins come out in their first possession of the second half and make it a 14-3 lead over the California Bears. It's a 14-3 ball game here in the third quarter with 11.53 to go, and the Bruins open with a decisive drive for a touchdown and a beautiful pass play to Craig Brack. You can see he's the big play receiver for UCLA. 11 touchdowns now and that fantastic average. Just his second touchdown catch of the year, though. The ball is kicked eight yards deep in the end zone. It will not be returned. It will come out to the 20-yard line. They got no toes left after that first half. Boy. This is Echimondo. And he slants off the right side. The, the play that they have run so successfully against some teams is that counter play in which uh, Echimondo has run for a lot of yards. Has not done much for him today. No, it hasn't. And I think that you have to give UCLA credit for that. that a counter works best against a fast-flowing defense. UCLA is very discipline with those seniors all on that front four. Second down and eight. 
Rodgers hooks up Bullet up to the outside, and MacArthur has a first down for California. He's pretty good, that fellow. He got away from Keith Short. And you can see that uh, UC is coming out doing the same things they did in the first half. If you look at Aaron Rodgers' pass chart, he completed 15 out of 19 passes, and all of them except one inside of 15 yards. But that's because UCLA plays a very soft, too deep defense. Both safeties about 12 to 15 yards deep, and the linebackers trying to plug the holes down the middle. Rogers pass complete across midfield to Burl Toller. This is the most impressive thing about uh, young Aaron Rodgers learning how to play at this tempo and the intensity of the pass rush and being able to avoid it. After the play fake to Etchemandu, he'll try to buy some time here. He's forced to step up into the pocket, but you can see his eyes are down the field and he finds a receiver flash right in front of him in Burl Toller. Big play by Toller here to uh, put Cal once again in Bruin territory. First down at the 45-yard line. Double wide, top of the screen. Your picture. Etchemandu is the deep back. Rodgers passes thrown very quickly, complete to Mandarino, and he's going to have another California first down at the 30-yard line. Brandon Chiller making the tackle. I just can't say enough about how quick this delivery is. That time, Justin L London was right in the line of fire of Aaron Rodgers trying to get the ball to M Mandarino. And the ball is just out too quick, and London could not adjust to knock it down. That's such an effective play against a quick passing offense. The defense just read the quarterback's eyes and then play basketball and block the ball. Rodgers is too quick. It is strange, Jepson. Rodgers throwing again. Now he's going to run this one. And he gets inside the 20. They take him down at the 18, and that's good for another first down. And it's another tackle for Brendan Schiller. And this is the best field position so far for Cal as they finally break it inside the 20-yard line. It almost appears as they're giving up on their running game. Although that was a fine run by the quarterback, Ad Living. Had trouble all year long, though, once they get inside the 20-yard line, putting points on the board. Roger Sack. Dave Ball came from around the corner. And, and the guy that helped him up, uh, helped up Aaron Rodgers was Mark Wilson. That's a good idea because this is Mark Wilson here, and there's Dave Ball. And again, it's around the corner, and this is really lucky for Cal that Rodgers was able to hang on to the ball. You can see the ball coming with his right hand trying to strip the ball loose. Loss of five yards. It'll be second down and 15 as the ball comes back to the 23-yard line. Etchemundo is the deep back, but they're in a passing mode right now. Again, that quick pop to the outside, and uh, this time Jeff McArthur didn't put it away before he started to run. Got away from him. You know, again, Keith, you talked about them not having any toes left because they've shot themselves in the foot. You have a sack on the previous play, and then your sure-handed receiver, Jeff McArthur, lets one bounce off his chest turned to run to the outside before he secured the ball. And now it becomes an extreme down. It's third down and 15. And if they call on Tyler Fredrickson again, he's going to be way out there trying to get a three-pointer. And the clock is ticking down on him. Yeah, that play clock inside 10 seconds now. And they have to hurry. No audible in now. Timeout. You bet. They don't want to waste opportunity down on the 23-yard line. At 8.39 to play in the third quarter, 14 points for the Bruins in California with three threatening. So here we go. Third down and 15 for California at the UCLA 23. Once again, they're down in the, in the uh, UCLA end of the field. And so far, they haven't done much with it. They've missed two field goals, made one from 47. Missed from 51 and 34. 
And if they don't pick up some yardage here, Fredrickson's going to be looking at another big one. Pressure. Ball's thrown too high to Etchemandu, and he was open. He was open, but the heat was on Aaron Rodgers, and the ball got away. Yeah, and he was open, but he was not far enough down the field to pick up the first down, but that pressure there by UCLA forced that ball to sail high on Aaron Rodgers. Now they'll come back to the 30-yard line to spot this. It'll be officially a 39-yard field goal. And it looks like he squeezed it in. So it is 14 to 6 now as Fredrickson is 2 for 4 off the tee. Ball is kicked way beyond the field of play. All right, here come the Bruins. It's Tyler Ebell coming off the left side, and the Wendell Hunter tracks him down, and he's picked up about three, four yards on the play. Raiders are having a hard start. 49ers having a hard start. The Bay Area is deep in tears. And still crying about the Giants losing to Florida, yep. too. <laughs> That's one way to kill the drought. <laughs> Second down, six from the 24. UCLA up 14 to six. Drew Olson's gone all the way, gives to Tyler Bell. He bounces outside for a couple. Joe Meningo makes him, makes the tackle, and then disentangles him from his curls, and Sends him back to his place of business. One word comes to mind. Haircut. <laughs> it would drive me crazy. It's his hair, and I reckon it's his head, and he can do what he wants. That's right. 27-yard line. It is Berkeley, after all. Third down and three. Oh, the ball is loose. California can pick it up and score, but they cover it. And it's first and goal at the five-yard line. Monty Parson knocked the ball out. A couple of big plays for Mar Monty Parson in this ball game. He got a sack in the game. He knocked the ball down at the line of scrimmage. And this is a huge play for Cal. Watch number 91. Three-step drop. Ball's got to be gone. He holds on to the ball too long. And when you hold on against a blitzing defense, you can see Wendell Hunter, number 40 there, was also on the blitz. Carson with the big play to force the fumble. And Cal's in business at the five. So the Bear defense turns it over to the offense in the catbird seat. Let's see what they can do with it. Knocking on the door of Hallelujah Lane. J.J. Arrington is in the ball game. His first carry, if he gets the ball, is going to be uh, first and goal from the five, and that's exactly what happened. And uh, he holds on to the ball and gets down close to the three. Holds on to the ball for good reason. Fumbled in each of his last three games, and uh, that'll earn you a spot on the bench and the doghouse. But after the bye week, practiced well. Tedford said it's hands on the ball and he moves it down to the three. You gotta have a pretty good stomach to put the fumbler in the ball. Yeah. <laughs> take out uh, Joe. Yeah. Rodgers takes off and scores. Aaron Rodgers walks in. Question of whether they go for two? I think so, Keith, what because saying, yeah. Adam Chinobi Echimandu is coming into the game. He wasn't in the game on that play. That was just brilliant call by Jeff Tedford and perfect execution by his team. The blocking on that quarterback draw was perfect in the patience of Rodgers. Remember, he scored against SC on the ground. But that one was the thing of beauty. When you go in as a quarterback untouched, you have done your work.
This is for two-point conversion. Rodgers is looking for Echimondo. Throws high for MacArthur. He had MacArthur on the goal line and threw it high. So it's a 14 to 12 ball game coming off the turnover as the quarterback Olsen is pounded by Parson, recovered by Hunter. And then the quarterback Rodgers danced into the end zone and it's 14 to 6. Uh, to 12. Coaches are coaching and the players are puffing and uh, sweating and uh, we've got ourselves a ball game 14 to 12 at the Rose Bowl UCLA leading California Drew Olson being pounded by Parson and lost the ball Maurice Drew and Tyler Ebel the tailbacks are waiting for the kickoff from Fredrickson and it goes beyond the end zone and it'll come to the 20 yard line where the Bruins will have it first down. Olsen still out there. Redemption time of a sort for him. Ebel carries and gets one yard. Uh, Matt Moore may not want to come in the game. This The Bears have been beating up on Drew Olsen. Hit him eight times at least. Knocked him down six, including that uh, fourth sack of the game by the Bears with Parsons causing the fumble. As long as Moore's hat's on backwards, he ain't coming. Olsen back. Gets his pass away. My goodness, it was almost a look what I found interception for Bathia, but it got away. Intended for Ryan Smith. Yeah, Bathia ran a better route than Ryan Smith. I'm not sure what Drew Olsen was thinking or seeing on this play. Watch number 25, Smith, go down the field. Bathia in a trail position, perfect defensive back technique. As soon as the receiver turned his head, Bathia turned his head. The ball was on the way, just a little bit off his hands. Manny White now, the deep back. Meningo shows blitz and then backs up. And Olsen runs out from the stack and lets it go as far as he can throw. 
It's out of bounds and incomplete intended for Junior Taylor. That's just a desperation heave by a frustrated quarterback right now. The pressure up the middle again. Cal doing a good job at getting Lorenzo Alexander and Sverchek and Beckham to get that pressure right in the face of Olsen. He rolled out and just heaved it as far as he could, but way out of bounds. Chris Kluwe is in the punt, and Vinny Strang is waiting for it. Chris gets it out, but it, sing, it hangs up and doesn't go very long as Strang makes the catch. He's a quick one. Penalty flag follows the play, and uh, that one uh, might back up a tad. Vinny Strang. Harden. Yeah, it came into this game with 13 catches for 162 yards and a couple of touchdowns. More yards than pounds. That's right. Again, a long return on a kick, whether it's a punt or a kickoff return, negated by an illegal block in the During back. The return, illegal block in the back on the return team. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. So that's from the spot of the foul, that particular penalty. First down and 10 from the 29-yard line. Rodgers hands it off to Echimondo, and he never won. It's Arrington, and never was able to get a foot down. J.J. Arrington was tackled the moment he got the ball. Well, Cal scored on a quarterback draw when Rodney Leslie got blocked out of the way. That time, Leslie was waiting for the draw play from Cal, and he just stuffed another tackle for a loss for UCLA in this ballgame. Majority of them coming from that front four. Second down and 14 now for the Bears. And it's pretty warm on the field. That Jamandu is into the ball game now. Rogers pass to the sidelines is good to Burl Toller. And Toller's out of bounds up around the 28. Rodney Leslie's out of the ball game for the moment. Just winded. Third down, 11. Aaron Rodgers got to go. There were people after him all over the place, and he's out to the 35, and he is well short of the first down, and the Bears will have to kick it away. But that won't make Jeff Tedford mad because he didn't take a sack. He advanced the ball. It's no shame in punting the ball right now back to UCLA. The Bears defense doing a good job. This is going to turn into a game of field position as we come down to the end of this one, a two-point game. Fredrickson is the punter as well as the place kicker, we told you. <laughs> Going to get a cramp waiting for it. That's a good one. Runs Brad back to the 13. And the Bears got pretty good coverage on Craig as they take him down at the 17-yard line. Here's Todd. Well, Keith, right now these schools aren't enjoying their best football campaigns, but U.S. News and World Report has them ranked as the top two best public universities in the country. California actually is number one. UCLA comes in at number four. But what's more impressive is if you want to go to these schools, you better have the grades. For incoming freshmen, 1337 on the SAT. That's the average in 4.23 and 4.24 for UCLA respectively. So, so that what Dan Fouts got, I think, when he went to Oregon. But those are some high marks. And better have a few shekels in your wallet to pay for it, too. Of course, this system uses the five-point grade average. In Oregon, we just use the four points. So no difference. <laughs> ah, he's quick. Ball is thrown down field complete to Mercedes Lewis. <laughs> you believe that too, don't you? 36-yard <laughs> line. Well, one more time for Drew Olson to uh, deliver a ball and then find the turf here at the Rose Bowl. A little play-action fake. And a really a, a well-thrown ball to his big tight end. Backside of slot working against Gutierrez. And Olson is on the mark. You know, Lewis will probably come out of this game with a load of confidence. He might be a holy terror if he really gets interested. Catches uh, three catches, 57 yards, and touchdown today. And Tyler Ebell got around the corner and got past the marker and picked up a first down. 
Boy, and that just can't happen to a defensive back. Damian Hughes came up to make the tackle, and Ebel's speed was too much for him, and he got right by him and down the sideline for that first down. Give Ryan Smith and he had a good block on the corner over there to get him moving. Yeah, he certainly did. Number 25 is Ryan Smith. Here is the defensive back, Damian Hughes. Smith comes down to seal on the safety, and now Hughes just cannot allow the running back to get outside him like that. First down on the 49-yard line, California side of the field, and it's Maurice Drew, the tailback, and pounding, pounding. Oh, boy. Get fresh legs in on a hot afternoon against the defense and getting a little tired. Uh, and normally, you've got Manny White as the big power back, Ebel's the speed back. This young man, Maurice Drew, combines both speed and power. Somewhere in that maze is number 21 as he pops out the backside. Another first down, they go back to him again. Gain of two yards on that play before Donnie McCluskey could make the tackle for Cal. McCluskey is 5'10", 180 pounds, and makes a lot of tackles. Not all that big, but he's tough. Yeah, there he is right there, number 21. That's a run blitz. And that's getting to uh, Maurice Drew before he can get to the hole. Stops him about a two-yard gain. Second down and eight, 14 to 12, UCLA leading, 2.20 to play third quarter. This is a big ball game in the overall theme of things in the Pac-10 Conference. Oh, my goodness. Little play action, but you know who wasn't fooled a bit? Tosh Lupoy. You know, and that's exactly the opposite of what happened to Damian Hughes. He let the running back get around him. Well, Lapoy, number 94 here, this is his job, is to protect the backside. They call it staying at home, and that means don't worry about going after the quarterback. He's going to come to you. Just don't let him get outside you. That was a huge loss. Third and 22. Batted down. That's our boy Parsons again, Keith. Monty Parson, second time today, has knocked the ball down. He's got two sacks. He's forced to fumble, and he just continues to make huge plays for Cal. He's 6'3", 265, a senior from Compton. Oh, and his timing is just excellent. You've seen how Rodgers has been able to deliver the ball without getting it knocked down, but watch number 91. Driving, driving, and then getting a big left hand up to snuff. Ruin timeout. Minute 25 to go in the third quarter. So both teams have spent a timeout. It's 14-12, Bruins. The Bruins are about to punt the ball away now. Chris Cluey into the ball game on fourth down. And 22. Vinny Strang is waiting for it. Penalty flag. It's a very good kick, too, because the ball hits at the 10 and bounds around there, and they'd have them pinned deep. But there was a flag. It'll back them up Pardon probably the five. False start yep. on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Field fourth down. Time will please set the clock at one minute, 25 seconds. Now Chris can go ahead and swing the leg, I think, without having to... Of course, he could still reach the end zone with it, but he's trying very hard to kill that ball inside the 10-yard line. Yeah, that's the important thing. That ball did die right about the 10, so we'll see just how many yards the uh, Bruins lost because of that five-yard penalty if they lose any. You know, Charlie Justice left us this week. Choo-choo. I don't think I ever saw anybody in college who could stick it in the ground and stop it inside the 10-yard line any better than Choo-Choo could. Yeah. Oh, he was a great punter. Blue wave. 
It's a good snap. Kicks away. And it's a pretty good kick. It's a tail dragger, though. And it's going to go to the end zone. Once you get that tail dragon, it's going to hit and just go like a bullet down the field, and it did. They'll come out to the 20-yard line, the Pac-10 standings. Now, I mentioned this was an important ball game because UCLA is one of the undefeated teams in conference play. California only has one loss, and this may be one of those weird seasons where you could win the conference championship or at least tie for it with a loss. And the game's being played today. USC comfortably ahead of Notre Dame at South Bend. Arizona State has won at North Carolina. That's pretty weird scheduling for the Sun Devils. Yeah. Washington State's jumped to a 7 0 lead at Stanford against the Cardinals. And Oregon State in the night. Here's the ball thrown very quickly to MacArthur. And he's up across the 25 to the 26. Going to be a big showdown in the Palouse next week, huh, Keith, with Oregon State while yep. playing the Cougs? Yep. And uh, we're doing Southern California at Washington, and I know 100,000 people are going to say, well, why aren't you doing Washington State, Oregon State? Because we had to commit to the USC-Washington game back in May because it was homecoming. And you, and that, when you have a homecoming game involved, you have to make your commitment in May. That's the way things are doing. People are bidding for these ball games. At Jumandu will pick up a first down for California out at the 38-yard line. And that looks like the Etchemandu had such a big day against USC in that great win for Cal. He hit that hole off the right side. No counter that time, just straight power straight ahead. And you got to wonder if UCLA's defense may be getting a little bit tired. Last week against Arizona, they substituted that defensive line, and when they did, Arizona ripped them with Chris Farmer. This week, the front line, starting front four, been going the majority, if not the entire game. They got him spread out all over the field. Now they're going to come back inside, trying to set up that wide receiver screen with O'Keefe, the tailback, and the Bruins handled it pretty well. has possessed the ball more than 10 minutes more than UCLA yet they're trailing by two points we go to the fourth quarter of play California owns the football at the 43 yard line and it's second down and six Aaron Rodgers as sprang in motion pitches it off to Etchemandu going for the corner past the marker got a first down well, Aaron Rodgers has been under a lot of pressure today by this UCLA front four. 
in the first half, Justin London from his middle linebacker spot will bring him down. One of four sacks on the afternoon. And then Dave Ball, leading sacker in the Pac-10, will pick up a pair. Ball lucky, unlucky not to get that one loose. And then on the two-point conversion try, Baschetti and Ball force that overthrow. And we've got a 14-12 UCLA lead. He goes under center on first down and 10 at the UCLA 46-yard line. Pressure's after him, balls away, and thrown incomplete behind the end of receiver, uh, Mandarino. He had MacArthur going down the right side, and MacArthur was defended by Matthew Clark. And pretty well defended, as a matter of fact. Second down and 10. They had David Gray in the ball game, the big freshman out of Richmond at 6-3. He made one really good catch. But he's a, he's a young man and uh, probably not running the route as sharply as he will in time. Second and 10 for Rodgers with two men behind him. But he's going to throw. To the sidelines, good. And that's a first down. Ball thrown down the sidelines. Oh, my word, he had his man wide open. Garrett Cross had cut off uh, the route and had completely lost the defender. Yeah, that's it. a little bit of miscommunication, and that's unusual for these two because they're used to playing with each other. Butte College, Rogers getting hit there a little bit late. The ball thrown just a little bit too high. That could have been six because the cross is a 235-pound 6'5 guy, and he's working against a 5'9, 170-pounder. Anyway, it's incomplete, and it's second down and 10. Rogers trying to run up the middle, and uh, he gets tackled. Some big body in blue wrapped him up as he went by, and it was. Uh, 49, Matt Ball and his brother Dave were the principal attackers in that play. And you go back to what Jeff Tedford told Todd Harris started the second half is that he didn't want his quarterback to take any sacks. And a sack there would have taken Cal out of field goal range. So that was a big play by Rodgers to pick up that one yard. Third down and eight now for them. They've been knocking on the door, knocking on the door, and it just it sure is hard to get it open. Rodgers takes off over the left side, looking for the marker, gets down to the 25-yard line, and uh, it'll be fourth down. Like another draw play as Cal emptied their backfield, trying to spread the Bruins out. Nobody behind Aaron Rodgers. Takes the three-step drop and then takes off over that left side, but Skitty really uh, spoiled that play. By the time Rodgers regained his footing, he was dead. Tyler Fredrickson in for a 41-yard field goal try. He's two for four today. He's made from 47 and 39. What? Bruins have the ball on the way to Gloryland. Brendan Chillard. Spencer Havener blocked it. Uh, linebacking buddy Brendan Chiller emerged from the pileup with the ball and took it home. And it's just something wrong with the way that Fredrickson's kicking this ball because Spencer Havener's blocked two now. Both were too low. Havener at six foot four gets up in the air and just knocks it backwards. Here is Havener, number 41. Getting up in the air, gets it with his right forearm. Ball kicked low by Fredrickson. And now Chiller with the gifts touchdown. And Medlock in for the point. Oh, ball rolling around. <laughs> Somebody do something with it. Freeway, the holder, picks it up and gets tackled over on the six-yard line. <laughs> and that keeps it an eight-point game, Keith. Yep. That's how important that mishandled snap was. 21 to 12 is a whole different quarter. 21 to 
21 to 12. It's a two possession lead. And now it's only one at 20 to 12. And 13 minutes and one second left to play in the ball game. Twenty to twelve is your score now as UCLA will kick off to the Cal Bears. It's hot inside the Rose Bowl today. And uh, California offense has had the ball a lot today, and the UCLA defense, and I mean pretty much the same people along the front have played most of the day. Let's see how they hold up here. California just gets so far. They stopped. They yeah. stopped themselves. Oh no! He's five yards deep, and James Bethia decides, "No, I better not do that." So here come the Bears. First down from their own 20-yard line. Aaron Rodgers hands the ball off, and uh, Etchemandu just simply lost his footing and just tumbled down right about the line of scrimmage. Never got started. We're talking about happy birthdays here earlier on. Uh, there's another little birthday that I'd like to recognize, and that was that bundle of joy that arrived in our lives on October 18, a few years ago. Miss Melanie Ann. How about that? Walked in. Did you plan that? Of course. Mary Ann did that. She planned that. This is at Commando from deep in the backfield, looping outside, trying to find the blocks to free him down the sideline. Just can't do it. Looks like the freshest player on the field right now is number 11, Brandon Chiller, right in the middle of the screen. Remember, he just ran 65 yards with that blocked field goal for a touchdown, and now he uses unusual speed to get all the way to the outside, and that's nine tackles now for Brandon Chiller. That's number one for the Bruins. Third down, and the Bears can't crank it up. Third and nine. Rogers. Harass now throws and throws. Uh, he bounces in front of uh, MacArthur. Hey, you just wonder about the psyche of Cal. They dominated this game in time of possession. They moved the ball between the 20s at will, and then they have a chance to take the lead. The field goal is blocked, run back the other way. Then they come out on offense, three plays and out. Right now, this is a demoralized California football team. Fredrickson's in to punt, and it's a big asset right here for the UCLA defensive guys who have been working long and hard. They should get a little rest out of this. Punt's out of there all right. And a fair catch called. Ball is knocked loose, and that has got a penalty flag out. He very clearly waved fair catch. Yeah, he, he doesn't even have to wave the fair catch. He has the right to catch the ball. And he was bumped into by a, a bear. Amazing thing to me is that there was an official standing five yards from this play and did not call a penalty, did not throw a flag. The official from the middle of the field threw his flag, and now they're going to discuss it. But this man here doesn't think this is interference. I beg to differ. Well, I think he was reaching, but uh, he's not a member of the fast draw club, I can tell you that. Well, he may Picking be claiming that Namdi O'Harry was blocked into Ran him. into the kicker, uh, ran into the receiver, which would typically be fair catch interference. However, he was blocked into the receiver. Therefore, there was no foul. This well, that's fine. play. Yep. First down. Namdi O'Harry is number 20, and he is uh, trying to block for Bragg, but in effect, blocks the man into Bragg. しなやかである
フレキシブルタワーバーなら合成としなやかさが一段と向上するため路面から伝わる不快な振動が減りワンランクアップしたドライブを味わえます。カーブでピタッと決まるハンドル操作はドライブ疲れからも解放してくれます。出かけてたくさん遊んでまた帰ってくる。いつでも心地よく楽しめるように車のしなやかさに注目してみませんか。遊びもドライブも全力で楽しむあなたのためにTurns and hands and look at this. Ebel almost broken. Mesa, but Mesa gets up. It、uh, looks like the right leg. You know, Keith, watching that、uh, fake field goal by Iowa, Cal might want to try something like that. They're having a terrible day kicking field goals. If they had converted three of those, it'd be ahead right now.、Yep. Nine points. This is Maurice Drew, and he's pretty fresh. And so he cranks it up over the right side and gets the first down at the California 41-yard line. Wouldn't surprise me at all now to see UCLA with Ebel and Drew keeping them reasonably fresh. Right, and that's the other side of the time of possession thing. Okay, Bruins on offense are got to be fresh.、Yep. They haven't played much today. That's right. Yet they lead by eight points. And they're liable to stick it in right here too. That's a game of five by Ebel. Matt Moore standing on the sidelines. He's been talking some to the local media. About his frustrations, but that's、uh, that things are bubbling. That's Ebel just keeping his feet under him and being patient and to get something out of it, running in all among all the trees there. That, that was an impressive run because he, his, he had to use patience because there was nothing there, and by keeping his feet moving and waiting for something to open up, he saw just a little crack and turned a bad play into a, a good one, sets up a third and short. Time remaining in the ball game now. As you can see there in the upper right-hand corner, sticking down nine and a half minutes. Third down and two. Manuel White, the deep back. Olson throws and Olson completes, and it's good for a first down at the Cal 30-yard line. And making the catch is Pat Norton. Pat Norton, the fullback. Yeah, throw that dog a bone. It seems like every time we're These poor fullbacks in the Pac-10. All they do is block all day long, and then once in a while, on a crucial third and two, they're called upon to be a pass receiver. And Norton delivers just his third catch of the season, but a huge one to pick up the first down. We've been promising you an opportunity to be a Saturday hero, my son. Now's your chance. 
Don't mess it up. Tyler Ebel. Coming outside with it. Down at the line of scrimmage. And Monty Parson, he's had a pretty good sized day for the Bears, hasn't he? Yeah, he has, and, and he's not even a starter. He backs up Tosh LaVoy, a defensive end. He's going to earn some added playing time off his big afternoon. Monday night, you've got the Chiefs and Raiders. What's the matter with the Raiders? You're asking somebody that really doesn't care being an old charger. <laughs> Uh, ball to the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Craig Bragg. Craig had double coverage, and the ball was high. Sometimes you just let you want, let one go to your playmakers, and that's what Drew Olson did on that one. He saw the double coverage, but he knew if he threw it hard enough and high enough that either Bragg would catch it or would go out of the back of the end zone that blind faith that quarterbacks have in guys that continue to deliver as Bragg does. Third and ten. Sack. At the 40. Now that's a sack that kills UCLA because that pushes them out of field goal range. That's the one you cannot take a sack on. You got the ball at the 30-yard line, you look Incomplete pass, you've got a 37, 47 yarder rather, and now you move it back to where you got to bring your punter out. That kills a coach. Southern California has defeated Notre Dame by a score of 40, 45 to 14. And here at the Rose Bowl, the UCLA Bruins are leading California 20 to 12. And the Bruins are punting, trying to pooch it and kill it deep and a nice, relaxed, easy swing, and it's like a golf shot. It goes 25 yards farther than it normally does. First and 10. Rogers stood up, a little quick thing to Strang. Strang waving his arms and saying, what about me? Just because I'm a little fella, I got my rights. The guy was holding me. Yeah, Spencer Havener was holding him on that quick slant. Look at, look at, look at the size of Vinny Strang. The only thing you can't see is how big his heart is, and it fills that entire jersey. Scares his mama to death, but she says he, he gets up every time so far. He got robbed on that one. Second and ten. Rodgers. Takes off up the middle. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff has sold him on not taking a sack. Uh, also, Tedford had this comment about uh, the little guy, Vinny Strang. Oh, 5'8", maybe, maybe less, maybe less, maybe 145 pounds, too. Just, uh, but he doesn't play that way. I mean, he, he plays a lot bigger than that. He's back in the game. Cal has, Cal has really struggled on third down, Keith. Just two out of 11, and that's where they have had trouble all year long. Third down and a long five. That's first down. The ball completed to MacArthur, and MacArthur turns in a big play. Gets it up to the 45-yard line. Brandon Chiller brought him down. That's similar to the first pass he caught today where he caught that hitch. Spun away from the defensive back and went down the sideline. That one was against Matt Clark. This one's against Keith Short, number three, right here. This is a real gutty throw. Short of the first down when he makes the catch, but not now as Chiller has to push him out of bounds. Huge conversion for Cal, especially with the time running down. And remember, it's only an eight-point ball game, 20 to 12. UCLA missed an extra point. MacArthur's caught nine balls today for 128 yards. At the 45, Rogers looking. He had Toller, couldn't see him. And he's taken, no, he's not down because he never touched the ground. He rolled over the top of the would-be tackler, Justin London, and uh, gets it back up past the line of scrimmage. Boy, you know, we talk about how smart this guy is, but how resourceful is this? 
not going to take the sack. Finds a little crack. Now he's going to land right on top of London's chest. Realizes his knees never touched the ground and picks up two or three yards. That's an incredible play. I remember a UCLA Nebraska game here one time where a guy rolled off the stack, and took off and, and stopped. Nobody blew the whistle. He took off and stopped. And that's an incomplete forward pass. He was almost thrown sideways, but not quite. I don't know that Strang ever saw it because it just hit him and dropped. Here's Todd. Well, Keith, for the last two defensive stands, UCLA has gone with number 92, Kevin Brown, as the defensive tackle. That is because the starter, Rodney Leslie, has got a bruised left clavicle. They say he can return. Right now, he is very tender. Keith. Thank you. That's big shoes to fill for a true freshman. Kevin Brown taking over for the senior, Rodney Leslie. Third down and eight. Penalty flags. Ball thrown for MacArthur. He collided with Keith Short and the pass is incomplete and let's see about the penalty. UCLA was coming on a blitz and somebody up front for Cal must have moved early. Prior to the snap, ball start on the offense. That's dead ball, Five right? Penalty, yep. Still third down. So the Bruins, I mean, the California keep, keeps it. They take a five-yard hit on it, but they still have the ball. And with 5.41 to play in the game, that could be important. It's third down and 14 now. Well, they have another shot. That ball was incomplete. The players could not hear the whistle being blown, and it may turn out to be a break for Cal. That three wide outs on this side. Rogers buying time, now has to take off, and uh, he can't get the first down. And he tried that sit and spin move. That's, that's an ice skating move, isn't it? The uh, sit spin. <laughs> Tell you what, he's not going to take a sack. He's not going to throw the ball. He's going to see if he can do it with his legs. Let's see if he had this one down. And, oh, no, it, that right cheek went down on the ice. <laughs> he loses all his points from the Russian judge. Don't forget the attorney. Fourth down and eight. Fredrickson's kick, fair catch is called back at the 13, 14 yard line. They'll give him the 14. Now, it comes down to a, a battle of wills right now, Keith. Can this UCLA offense grind out some yardage and take time off the clock, or will Cal rise up? Well, not that much time left. Lots running at 4 45. No gain of any consequence there for Manuel White. And there's Rodney Leslie with the ice bag on the clavicle. Yeah, they took his shoulder pads to the locker room to make sure he doesn't come back in the game. It appears to be more than just a bruise. But the coach, uh, Fox, uh, the coach of Carolina the other day had to hide Stephen Davis's helmet so he wouldn't sneak back into the ball game and then suddenly Deshaun Foster got a chance to play and had the biggest day of his uh, career. Next Bruin. Yep. Great one. Ball is on the just outside the 15 yard line, second down. Tyler Ebell searching around, can't find anything. Goes down at the 15 yard line. Cal has two timeouts, as does UCLA. But those two running plays are taking time off the clock, but not gaining anything at all. I think Cal. Well, they wind the clock. I thought California was trying to call a timeout there. But not so. The clock's running. Third down. Big play here for the Bears. Ball thrown to Mercedes Lewis. And he's close to a first down. Just depends on the mark. I think he's got it. Now he's using that sit spin move too. Of course, he's a little bit bigger than McCleskey. Again, weigh, outweighs him by about 70 pounds. Gets to the inside. That's a great move by Lewis. 
ball thrown perfectly right out in front and that last little lean there got him the first down. That's Maurice Drew at tailback. And now Cal's got to start thinking about those two timeouts. We got a bear hurt. That's Lorenzo Alexander who's down on the field. Big tackle. Played all day at that defensive post. Earlier we asked you the singular wireless poll question who has the early lead for the Heisman Trophy. And there are your results. Three words for that, Keith. Well, that's one of them, but <laughs> East Coast bias. Hey, Amen. I agree with you. Totally. They're getting back at us for Carson Palmer winning the Heisman Trophy last year from the West Coast. <laughs> Probably, yeah. The attendance today, 53,825, and we've got a timeout for Lorenzo Alexander. So second down and eight. The Bruins continue to run it. They will as long as they can because that keeps the clock turning. And we're now at 224 and counting. California with two times out remaining. And it's third down and a long three. Olsen throws the ball away. And so they will punt. Push Lupoi was after him. Executive producer of ABC Sports is Mike Pearl. Senior producer is Bob Toms. Coordinating producer of ABC's college football, Bob Goodrich. And our producer here at the Rose Bowl, Mark Loomis. Our director, Patrick McManus. Our associate producer, Derek Mubley. Our associate director, Jeff Kibler. Our production assistants, Kurt Thomas and Joe Zucco. Kelly Hayes, our spotter. Mark Romero, our statistician. Cage ma stage, ma uh, stage manager is Kendall Watanabe. And the punt is away by Cooter. And a fair catch is called by Strang back at the 33-yard line. Well, Cal will have one more chance at this one. They've had a lot of missed opportunities this afternoon. Tyler Fredrickson in the first half misses this field goal barely from 51 yards out. And in the second quarter, Spencer Hafner blocks his chip shot there. Now the two-point conversion that would have tied the game at 14. Overthrow there, and then the real killer, Havner with the block and Brandon Schiller with the return from 65 yards out. For a touchdown. 
Cal has one timeout to go. They've got to get in the end zone, and they've got to convert a two-pointer to tie it up. Two minutes and ten seconds remain in the ball game. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, you got a hold call. You got a holding call coming up. And Guaranteed. almost a fumble too. Almost a fumble, right? Kevin Brown was almost uh, to the quarterback, and he was held. Rodgers been under constant pressure this afternoon, especially in the second half. There's a holding by Wilson on Dave Ball, and then the ball knocked loose by Kevin Brown, and Rodgers lucky enough to fall on top of it. Six sacks now for UCLA, and that critical holding penalty is just like a sack. You know, Kevin Brown comes in in replace of Rodney Leslie, and uh, the old fresh body, he's causing a lot of trouble down there. Young legs, too. Yep. 2 3 to play in the ball game now, and California's backed up by the holding call through their own 22-yard line. Rodgers sacked inside the 15 by Dave Ball. He was unrelenting in his pursuit and finally got those big old arms on the quarterback and down he went. Now Aaron Rodgers calls timeout. He wants some answers. He wants a solution to this pass rush, especially Dave Ball, who's now got three on the afternoon. Top of the screen right there. Double team. That ain't good enough, especially when you double team with a tight end and a running back. Dave Ball's going to eat those guys for lunch. Leads the Pac-10 in sacks coming into today with eight and a half, now has 11 and a half. Next time you're fixing a big supper for your family, just think about Mrs. Ball. Dave is 6'6", uh, 269, and Matt 6'6", 280. And how about Mr. Ball? <laughs> I bet he's big too. Had two jobs. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you have twins. <laughs> Minute 40 to go in the ball game. California backing up. It's on second down and 28. Thrown underneath to Etchimandu out of the backfield, and the tailback will get it up across the 30-yard line. Almost back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was a good play by both Rodgers and Etchimandu. Makes this uh, a very realistic chance to convert on third down. Of course, you got two downs to get that first down. The time running down. Coming up on a minute and ten, and here comes the heat. Rodgers looking, now throws. Got his man over here, Burl Toller, and he's right on the sidelines and knocked out of bounds, stopping the clock at about a uh, minute. You know, Tedford told me, he says, Aaron Rodgers has all the tools. He's just a sophomore. He's got good feel in the pocket, mobility, fierce competitor, and then when he lets it loose, that ball gets there in a hurry. So if the clock operator owes California about three seconds, at least two. Good catch, Keith. I don't think they're going to give it to him. Yeah, though. I think they do. Yeah, they put it back. Goes back to a minute. So it's a minute to go in the game. Aaron Rodgers. Throws underneath again, Adam Etchimandu, and uh, he'll get down to the 35. That's another first down, and again, that stops the clock. Let me give you the rest of our guys and gals. Bug operator today, Fred Amos, computer stats, Dan Barr, John Zipp is our technical director. Our production manager is Rachel Newlander, and our tech manager is Al Fong. I want to make sure. Al got that. Rogers getting heat again. Looks, and now he's in trouble. That may cost them their last time out right there. Dave Ball again. He's been a come, becoming a holy terror here in the fourth quarter. And Rod Roger just figured out they don't have any more timeouts, Keith. They don't have yep. any more. That's all he can do is kill the clock there. Remember, they had to burn a timeout, timeout early right. in the second yep. half when they couldn't uh, regroup after a long sack. So they've got 24 seconds. 
They're looking at second, a third down and ten. And uh, they've had a uh, hundred opportunities, it seems, to win the ball game, and they just simply haven't been able to do it. I would love to see Tedford roll his quarterback out and get away from some of this pressure and buy extra time. Off the hand of Strang. I mean, he had room. He catches it, he scores. If the ball is thrown one foot closer to Strang, he walks into the end zone. Yep. And that play, if that doesn't show you the kind of day Cal has had, I don't know what will. An opportunity to get within two points just off the fingertips of Vinny Strang. Look how close he is to the end zone if he catches it. Right there at the 10, he might struggle to get in. Fourth and 10. Eight-point game, 20 to 12. Official stop it. The umpire comes up and stops it. Well, Keith Short called timeout. Bruins got a man down. It looks to me like balls down on a knee. Dave Ball. <laughs> Unless there's a defensive penalty. Balls away. Caught. Touchdown, California. Burn. Talk about top shelf. The throw of the century by Aaron Rodgers under tremendous pressure. Finding Toller in the seam. That's the same, pretty much the same play that the ball the Strang, the Strang just missed on. Yeah, it is. Keith Strang was the inside receiver on this play and just outside him. There were three receivers on that side of the field and Toller was second to the outside. And a clutch catch and an incredible throw by Aaron Rodgers. And it put on the three yard line, and here comes your two point try. This is for a tie for California. Complete 20 20 overtime. Shimondu made that catch and muscled his way into the end zone. Oh, my word. Let's take a look at that touchdown play, Keith. As uh, Aaron Rodgers, again under pressure from this Bruin defensive line, steps up, keeps his eyes on the target, starts to come forward. Now he's got to throw the ball on the run. And the middle receiver here is Toller. There goes Strang to the inside. Bruins jump on him. Toller's got himself a touchdown. And then to tie the game, Cal will try to hit Adam Chinobi and Chimandu in the flat. Number 18 coming right at you. What a great catch by Enchinobi. And Jamandu, rather, and in the, I went all day long, Keith, getting it right. Joe made a heck of a play there. <laughs> Calm down. You got a shy game. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was funny. You don't know how much we've struggled with that name all day. <laughs> Well, now, you can, if you're a Westerner, you want to see the finish of this one. And we'll go to overtime with it in a minute or so, unless somebody runs it all the way back. There's 11 seconds to play in the ball game, and it's kicked through the end zone, and it'll come out to the 20-yard line. And I'm sure that UCLA surely will try it. They may not. They may not decide to crank it up and risk the, the possibility of interception and return. So let's see what, what the brain trust on the blue side of the field decides, but I'll tell you what, there's some tired old boys over there. Yeah, they are. Both Look at the sides. heads are down and trying to get some cool air from those fans. Aaron Rodgers, 27 completions, only 12 incompletions, 331 yards, that touchdown and no interceptions. And he's not done yet. He's just going to take a knee and send it to the clubhouse. That's what they're going to do. And then we will go to overtime. Each team will get the football in overtime. Let's go, baby! As Come on. it's finally Let's gone. Go. Game is officially over, and we are now in overtime. <laughs>
2020 tie at the Rose Bowl between California and UCLA. The Golden Bear scored in the last minute, converted a two-point conversion to make it 2020. We welcome those of you who've been watching Ohio State Iowa with the Buckeyes winning 19-10 in that ball game. Here are the rules for overtime. No sudden death. Teams get equal possession. They get a possession on the 25-yard line. They repeat that process until the tie is broken. If you go to a third overtime, teams will then have to go to a two-point conversion effort. Each team gets one timeout. We are 20-20, and here we go with the first overtime. California played a three-overtime game in their win against Southern California. And they run the ball with Tyler Ebell carrying on the first play, and he gets to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. And that's a very predictable first play of overtime, a running play, because if you go back to pass and you happen to get sacked, now you are almost out of field goal range. So a lot of coaches will decide that that first couple of plays in overtime will be on the ground to prevent being taken out of field goal range. And California won the coin toss. They elected to play defense first. And uh, the Bears might have jumped a little bit that time. Right? They got away with it, I guess. They, they were blitzing, and uh, it seemed to me that Meningo in the middle was across the line of scrimmage, but Maurice Drew went to the left side and moved the ball some. He's got a yard, yard and a half. Yeah, here's Meningo right here. He times it perfectly. Just after the ball is snapped, and the, that type of blitz disrupted the blocking pattern and allowed McCluskey to come in and make another tackle. So it is third and nine now for UCLA. UCLA quarter, quarterback Drew Olson has been sacked six times this afternoon. Craig Bragg, Junior Taylor, Ryan Smith on the field. With all the wideouts. Ball thrown down the middle. It is incomplete. No flag. Defended by number 21, McCleskey again, who has been all over the field today. They call him their rover. And he has really been a range rider today. And Meningo coming on another blitz. Watch him, number nine here. Gets picked up there, or Olsen is a dead man. Hunter sloops to the inside, and McCleskey just gets a left hand in there to knock it away from Ryan Smith. And here's Justin Medlock now for a 41-yard field goal try. Plenty of leg. It's good. From 41 yards, UCLA goes to 23-20 in the first overtime and California now will get the football. Let's go back and take a look at how California scored to tie this game. Aaron Rodgers is going to find number 10 Burl Toller right down the seam and Toller takes it in on the fly and now on the two-point conversion Adam Chinobi and Chimandu with the two-pointer there. Cal faced a second down and 28 from their own 14 on that drive. And Rodgers was four out of five for 86 yards in that touchdown. And the touchdown play came on a fourth and 10. Clutch play by Aaron Rodgers. With just seconds to play. Rodgers runs it on the first play with Echimandu carrying. Those of you who may never have heard the name Echimandu in the Middle Western part of the country, he was Joe Achimel a couple of years ago, then was injured and out of school, and uh, he's now a grad student, but back to play his senior year. And his name is a, a Nigerian, Echimandu. California has never led in this football game. Second down and nine. Ball is thrown to Vinny Strang. And they're going to wave it off and say he did not catch it. He trapped it. So it's an incomplete forward pass. And the ball will be snapped again at the just inside the 25-yard line. UCLA was one of three undefeated teams in Pac-10 conference play when the day started. There's Good. the trap. Yeah, that's a great call by the officials. But if you notice how when Roger stepped forward, his left leg straightened out and stiffened up. When a quarterback steps forward on his left leg like that, that ball will go in the dirt, or the grass in this case, every time. Tyler Fredrickson is waiting, and now they're going to spend that timeout. Each team getting one timeout, and California just took one as they're looking at third down and nine. 
Washington State, when last heard, was leading Stanford in the first half, seven to nothing. Southern California had a big win today at Notre Dame, 45 to 14 over the Irish. They're the other undefeated. Yeah, no, they lost the game in the conference play. The other undefeated team is Oregon State, and they're playing Washington tonight. So the Pac-10 has been, uh, it's a struggle, and it's going to be a struggle right to the very end probably this year because the last game of the season will be Oregon State and Southern California December 6th at the Coliseum. Attention. Carl Jarrell called the entire team over to that huddle on the sidelines to give a little moral boost to his defense. It's got to be worn out. Well, his great tackle, Rodney Leslie, is out of the ball game with a bruised clavicle, and uh, they've got a freshman in there, uh, Kevin Brown, playing in his position, but Brown has, has caused a lot of trouble for California in the last three minutes of the game. It's 11 and a half minutes of time possession advantage for Cal. The Pac-10 champions will go to the Rose Bowl, as will the Big Ten champion, unless they qualify for the BCS championship game. And of course, the Rose Bowl is part of that whole BCS cycle. You've got MacArthur, Gray, and Toler, the wide ops. Gray is the bigger man. Toler is the man that caught the time touchdown pass. Ball is thrown away to the tailback, and Etchemondu trying to outrun the pursuit, looking for some help. And he is knocked down all the way back on the 34-yard line on a great tackle by Justin London. And that just may have moved California beyond the pale for the field goal try from Tyler Fredrickson. Justin London, Keith, made the play from the beginning. Watch him come in and pressure. Rogers there forces the pass. Now Etchemondu is just ad-libbing here, trying to outrun the Bruins. And look who makes the tackle there. Never given up number nine, London. This will be a 50-yard field goal try. He has made a 51. He made one uh, against USC for 51 yards. He missed from 51 earlier today. This one is up. It is no good. And UCLA wins in overtime, 23 to 20.